earlier in the newscast, we promised you a special <laughs> guest, and bam, <laughs> there hey, it everybody. is. Yeah. It's, it's good to great, be home. It's great to have you home. Yeah. You're only home for 36 hours, and you have a lot planned in that short amount of time. So tell us what you're up to. Oh uh, well, today, uh, my good friend and uh, Vigo County Superintendent Danny Tnews helped me uh, identify some kids in the community that were in need. So we're uh, going to get to spend a little bit of time with them this afternoon. We're going to Pace Setter Sports to uh, take 30 kids shoe shopping and then out for pizza after that. So it'll be fun and it's a great opportunity for me not only to give them something tangible like tennis shoes, uh, but to be able to spend, you know, three, four or five minutes with each kid and uh, kind of share my story with them and, um, you know, growing up here and, you know, developing as an athlete and as a man and to be able to come back here and be in the position to help people uh, is very special. So I'm not here very long, but I'm hoping to, to make an impact while I am. Oh, yes, That's you will. Great. And That's what is great. the one thing that you really hope sticks with these kids? If there's um, one message. You know, just giving everything you can every day. And I think for me, uh, you know, I really dedicated myself to being uh, the best athlete that I could be. Mm -hmm. And I think obviously that's important. That's why I've been able to uh, attain what I've been able to attain in my athletic career. But, you know, not only working hard at something you're passionate about, but also um, being cognizant of other people and being able to, to help other people. And I've really, um, I've been blessed because I've been able to leverage my celebrity as a professional athlete to be able to, you know, to help a lot of people, encourage a lot of people, you know, inspire and motivate. So I've been very blessed and, uh, and it's fun to come back here because, you know, you see these kids every year come back to this fun run and, you know, this is our third year doing it. And uh, there's just so much energy and, and focus that goes into putting an event on like this. And it's gone, uh, you know, amazing every year. And we have over 800 kids that are going to run And tomorrow. you're talking about Rush the Punter. It's all taking place at Fairbanks Park. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's still time to get involved, right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the more people that come out and, and run, the better. But even to come out and uh, just join in the festivities and support the United Way uh, and come out and just, you know, celebrate Terre Haute and celebrate what I've been able to achieve as, as an athlete. Uh, this far, but just to get out there and spend time with the kids and, you know, motivate and inspire them and, and educate them on, on what it takes to, you know, chase your dreams and, and, you know, achieve a few of them. So I have to ask, are you going to sign any autographs? Are you going to speak make of the stand? devil? Yeah. I got a couple of t-shirts here for you guys. Really? Oh, great. How cool that is that? That fit real now, nice for you. Steve, you um, I am. So, you know, even oh, if you're not able to, wow, to, to run physically and yeah. In the event tomorrow, I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to you know just seeing friends, family, fans, and uh, getting out there and, and being in the community. You're just such a giver and such a great role model for the Wabash Valley. We are so proud of you. Well, I got some good parents. My dad picked me up from the airport about 50 minutes ago, and we came straight here. So, uh, you know, I, I have great parents. I'm very blessed, and I've had great coaches and people in my life like Danny Tanus that have helped me facilitate uh, mm -hmm. the. Uh, overabundance of energy into something positive. So it's great to be home. He only has 36 hours and he made News 10 a priority. That's right. This is I my first it. stop. I, I haven't even seen it. my mom yet. <laughs>